Are you looking for a super cheap day pack to take you on your next hike? Then the OEX Rapid 24 litre day pack is just the pack for you. Let's go. Hello long distance hikers and world travellers, Russ here bringing you the best tips and inspiration for hiking around the world. Today I have here with me the OEX Rapid 24 litre backpack. It's a really cool day pack for both men and women but my partner Bex really loves to take this out on day hikes. We took it up Snowdon uh, in Wales and we took it up to Penny Fan also in Wales in the Brecon Beacons. Uh, so she wears this quite often on all of our hikes together. We picked it up in Go Outdoors for just 25 quid and I have to say it's a very good bargain. So let's go over some of the specs. This is a fully vented ripstop nylon backpack. It weighs in at just 1.03 kilos. It's hydration compatible and is an incredibly comfortable pack. I've worn this myself uh, and I have to say I quite enjoyed having it on my back. Now we've talked about some of the specs, let's go over the features. So let's talk about pockets. It has one top zippy pocket here. It has one main compartment zippy pocket. Uh, it's got two uh, really nice stretchy side pockets on either side. It's got a front zippy pocket that goes down most of the length of the backpack so you can fit things in there to get them easily. It's even got two modestly sized uh, hip belt pockets which is really handy. And the best pocket of all on this is on the bottom and that includes a really handy red rain cover. When I'm looking at cheap backpacks I always check to see if it's got a rain cover included because you know it's going to be the right size for this backpack. You also don't need to worry about spending the extra money on a rain cover that might possibly not fit. Let's talk about the build. This has two quite nicely sized uh, shoulder straps which are very well shaped uh, to fit to your body making this a very comfortable pack to wear. This is a frameless backpack but instead of a frame on the inside it actually has a plastic insert which goes down the entire width and length of the backpack making it just that little bit more rigid on the back and also distributing some weight to the hip belts. It's got two compression straps on either side and it's also got two load lifter straps on the top. It's also got a sternum strap here so that you can fasten it to your torso even more securely. Also on the back you've got some nice padding here for added comfort and ventilation, however your back's going to get sweaty anyway. You've got some really cool loops on here so you can attach things with a carabiner. It does say on the website however that this pack comes with uh, some kind of attachment to fit an ice axe or a trekking pole. I think that's what this is, but looking at where it's positioned I wouldn't want to put my ice axe or trekking pole through that because it'll just be sticking right out. If any of you guys own this pack can you let us know where that attachment is in the comments section so that the trail hunter community can see where that is. Okay let's look inside the backpack now so it's got a pocket here for putting a water bladder or anything else that you see fit and also it's got another velcro pocket here where the insert for the uh, back frame comes out of. To save weight it's really good that they've enabled you to remove this out of the pack if you wish. Look at this thing it's shaped very ergonomically. I like that it covers the width of the backpack at the top and uh, just enough to cover the bottom of your spine uh, at the bottom so uh, the shape here saves weight. What they could have done is they could have just made a rectangle like that um, which would have added weight but um, obviously they have thought that you don't need that so a very good design feature. To put that back in uh, because it's shaped in a very specific way you'll have to put it in the same weight that you got it out as it came when you bought it. On the inside of the pocket is another zippy pocket with a mesh fabric which is really good for keeping things to hand and you can see in there as well so you know what you're grabbing for. Okay now we've talked over the specs and the features I'm going to talk about all the things that I like and especially some of the things that I didn't like so much about this backpack. I absolutely love how comfortable this pack is. It's really ergonomically designed uh, and fits around your torso very well. It's got a very comfortable height on the hip belt and yeah very comfortable. I really like the added padding on the back. It gives extra ventilation uh, so it's good for a hot day's hike but I also like that they've put some extra padding at the bottom here so your lower back at the bottom of your spine it doesn't dig in so much if you've got a slightly heavier load. Another thing I like about the pack is the way that it opens. It's got a really nice large zip all the way around the top and it goes almost half the way down the backpack so you can roll it down get everything at the bottom of the pack and then zip it up really quickly. The zips on this backpack are also very smooth to open with ease uh, so that's another nice feature. I really like that in such a small package they've managed to cram in all of the features of a much more heavy duty backpack so it's a really good day pack uh, for people who are looking at doing quite a long trek uh, with some running included. 
This pack, however, is definitely not big enough for an overnight hike. You couldn't fit a tent in here. You could probably manage to fit a sleeping bag, like a, like a down sleeping bag or something, but this is definitely just a day pack. Of course, one of my favorite features, as I usually say, is the included rain cover as standard. And I really love these uh, mesh side pockets as well. They make it a lot easier to grab your water bottle out of your pack and put it back in. And they don't snap shut too far, so you don't have to take the pack off to put your water bottle in with both hands. You can just do it with one. And finally, the most impressive thing about this backpack is of course the price at just 25 quid. You really can't complain with all of these features, uh, the weight of it, the comfort of it. Uh, I just think it's overall a very good backpack. Okay, now we've talked about the things I like, let's go over the things that I didn't like so much. The main thing that I didn't like so much on this backpack is the fact that the strap on the uh, hip belt and the sternum strap and the load lifters and as well as the sizing adjustment for the uh, shoulder straps, I found them very difficult to uh, change the length on them. The way that they've done the hip belt strap uh, to change the size on it and the width of your waist uh, it's very difficult to get the right size. You have to kind of fiddle around with it. The way that they've looped everything around is very complicated. They've just overcomplicated the design of these straps. The material that they've used for these straps is like a very rough seat belt material. And uh, I think if they had used a much smoother material than the one they've got currently on there, I think it would have made it a lot easier to adjust the size. Also, yeah. Because they've overcomplicated these, I think, look at that, I don't know what they've done here. It's like going around here in like a figure of eight and then doubling over itself. Uh, it's just very complicated. And the last thing that I don't like so much about this pack is I don't think the stitching is of a very good quality. Um, only after a few hikes, and these aren't really long hikes, they're just day hikes, uh, I can see some stitching is coming loose. Uh, I can see that the quality of the stitch isn't very good. Uh, the actual pattern of the stitch and the frequency of the stitch isn't enough. They haven't tied off the loose ends very well. All around the pack after just a few uses with not a very heavy load, I can see the stitching is starting to kind of come quite loose. But hey, it's a cheap mainstream pack. These things are going to be expected at this price point. Okay folks, campfire question. What is the day pack that you use and why? Let the Trail Hunter community know in the comments section below. Right then everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, then hit that thumbs up. Uh, be sure to watch the videos to my side here. Uh, and also do consider subscribing for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.